Hey, what's up? Welcome to What's Cooking with Chef Noel right here on Jamaicans.com. Today it's all about wings. It's National Wings Day, which is a very popular snack or appetizer, I might say, around the world. So it's all about wings. So which means I'm gonna make some wings for y'all today. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how to make a quick and easy coconut jerk marinated wings with some waffle. So I'm actually making a um a waffle recipe, but I'm gonna use um festival. So I'm using my festival recipe to make the waffle, right? Start about wings today and festival. All right, so let's get started, right? So first, what we want to do, so we won't be long today. This video will be very short. So let's start with our chicken. Get our wings all marinated and out of the way. It's very simple. All we need on our wings is um, some salt. Yeah, so let's we'll add some salt to this. Then of course, I want to use the Chef Noel's jerk marinade, which is coming back. Guys, I told y'all, it's coming back. So I'm gonna use like, um, as, as, you know, as much as you want. That's like three tablespoons. So by next week, you'll be able to order this marinade on my website. It's cuisinebynoel.com. So make sure you go check out my website. Lots of recipes there. It's National Wings Day. And let me tell you, in 2017, I was invited to CTV Morning Live where I did a presentation on Wings for Wings Day. And actually, Wings Day started in 1977 by the then mayor of Buffalo. I think his name is Stan Makoski. Makoski, yeah. And so he declared um, July 29 as Wing Day. He declared July 29 as National Wing Day. But Wing Day actually started in 1964 by this lady called Teresa Bellosomo. Yeah. So she has a restaurant and a bar, right? So her son came into her like, hey mom, I'm hungry. She didn't have anything else to give him. All she had was some wings that she was gonna use to make stock. Because back then, you know, back in the days, you know, way back when. Wings wasn't something that served in a restaurant. It was something that they used to make stock. And just straight out. You know, so what she did back then, so it's all about Buffalo, New York now, right? So she fried those wings and she makes some hot sauce and some butter. And then she fried those wings, tossed in it, and that's how we have Buffalo wings. So we really credit New York and the Buffalo for wings right so big up big up big up that's where it all started from and then we have all these variations so let's get cooking so on this i have some salt and the jerk marinade give us a little toss you know as jamaicans will like jerk right jerk all is in the mix so what we're gonna do now so we need to marinate these if you want, you can use, you know, like leg, ties, anything at all. But because it's wing day, then of course, we're paying homage. Right? What we're gonna do now is some coconut milk over this chicken. Liberally. And this is best if you do this overnight, right? So what we're gonna do now, and of course, you know, we're gonna make a cocktail, right? We're gonna put this aside to marinate, do its thing. So in the meantime, between time, let's make our waffle. And we're also gonna serve the wings with some honey, some hot sauce, and some scallion. That's it, boom, that's it. Make sure you guys share the video. Remember, share the video, you all know the rules, right? All right, so for the waffle now, it's actually a festival, and I did festival on here already. So this is the same recipe I'm using. But you're gonna make it into a batter instead of a dough. You following me? So we got one cup of flour, and the recipe is about one cup of flour, right? Quarter cup of cornmeal. I have a teaspoon and a half here baking powder, and then half teaspoon um, cinnamon powder. 
right? Then we need like um, a tea, half teaspoon salt. That's it. So we're gonna stir this now liberally. We steam it up, steam it up. Like I said, this video will be short this week, so make sure you all watch, pay attention, and share. So we're gonna add the water now. We need some sugar in this. We need um, a tablespoon of sugar. We need a tablespoon of sugar in this. So it's, you know, woo, very messy. So we have a little sweetness, right? Following. This is what we're gonna use to bread the um, chicken. So let's add our water now to make this into a batter. Too much. I remember I said that the recipe is in the caption, so you can make this, try it. Send me pictures, tell me how is it. Remember you can follow me on Instagram at I am Chef Noel. My website is there at cuisinebynoel.com. Check out my recipe book on Amazon, Cuisine by Noel. Culinary journey through recipes and stories. It has 100 recipes packed with stories, you know, that you can read. Some make you laugh, some make you say, ha, ah, really? Wow. Yeah, so. So you just want to find, so you just want to make like a batter, right? So not too runny, not too thick. This is, this is what we're going to use to make our waffle. Woo. So we're gonna put this aside until we're frying our chicken and we make our waffle because our chicken will take a little time. So for the flour now, so we have one cup of flour here. We need some coconut powder in this. Joining, we're making a coconut jerk chicken wing. Our wings. Just gonna add some coconut powder to this to incorporate it with the flour. Then I also wanna add a little dried jerk seasoning, right? So we'll give the crust of the wings you know, a nice little flavor. And that's all, quick and easy, simple, yet it's delicious. So I wanna say a big thank you to Teresa who created, you know, National Wing Day. And as, and as we all know, that wing is one of the most popular appetizer around the world. So usually I would soak, I would marinate my thing, you know, overnight, get more flavors, or for at least an hour. At least an hour you need. All right? Let's just move these. Let me move this. So you see, nice, the season is on it. Coconut, we absorb the coconut milk, right? And I'm gonna dip these now into the flour and coconut mixture. No. You want to fry these on a nice temperature, not too high, because it has coconut powder in it, right? So what's going to happen is you're going to get brown too fast. So once your oil, you know, pretty hot, so turn your oil on low, keep it, you know, nice and warm, and then you fry along. Let's check this. Right, that's a nice temperature. That's going. We see some bubbles once you drop it, and then now we just continue the same procedure. So my kitchen is hot, which means I need a cocktail now, right? So today we're gonna to make a raspberry mojito. It's summer, which is the best time for mojitos, and I have some raspberries in the fridge. I got some mint, so why not? What I need first is my glass. And in my glass, I need a teaspoon of sugar, or you can use simple syrup if you have simple syrup. You use like 25 ounces, really like five to six, you know, mint leaves. Then what I'm gonna do now is muddle these together. My wings are frying away here. So I'm gonna muddle the mint and the sugar together. So 
So what we need is just the oil from the rimmed leaves, just to, you know, to give her a cocktail a nice little essence. We want to add these um, raspberries. Smash these a little, not too crazy. Then in this now we're going to add my cute little ice cube. Then we need some rum. We need some rum. And if you've been watching the show a long time, then you know it's always two ounces. Then we'll add some rum to this. Then we're gonna add some raspberry lemonade to this. But more than usually, you know, we use the club soda, but we don't always play by the rules. Come on, any berries at all, so you do blueberries, strawberry, and you give us a little stir. You know, and trust me, I had one of this earlier, and I can tell you it's good. It's good because I test the recipes most time. So we're turning the wings now. Let me see if you guys can see what's happening. You guys can see what's happening. Just move your comment a little. The color is, the color is really you know, nice. Yeah, you see what's happening? You see what's happening? All right, that's our wing. And then this is our cocktail. So if you want, you can be all fancy and add some more mint or whatever you need. And make it looks good, you know? And that's our cocktail today. Let's call this not a mojito but a raspberry mint lemonade. That's what it is. Because there's no club soda. It's a raspberry mint lemonade. Alright? Raspberry mint lemonade. We change the name. Because mojito always have like you know club soda, right? Let's do our waffle now. In the meantime, between time. So you see time is everything and we'll get to our waffle and then by the time our chicken is ready, we do our sauce. I use canola oil, so we're gonna spray this up a bit, my waffle machine. And we made our festival waffle earlier mix. So if you're just joining the recipes above, you can always pull up. And then we're gonna turn this up now. Always preheat your waffle machine. And then we just need enough to you know. if you have some hanging over, no problem. There's no you know. it's gonna rise. Let's get our sauce going in the meantime, in between time. So we got some honey right here. Y'all like my haircut? Y'all like my haircut? <laughs> you get a fresh ear cut, looks so nice, thank you. So we're gonna add some green onion to this, or we call it, you know, scallion. Add all of that to it. Simple, simple sauce. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use some hot sauce to this, use any brand that you like, any hot sauce that you like. This one is a ghost pepper sauce. If you want to chop some scotch bonnet in it with the honey, no problem, go for it. Mm. Let's check on our wings. Yes, yeah, so for those of you just joining, it's National Wing Day. Started in 1964 back in Buffalo by a lady called Teresa who had a restaurant and you know she just started frying some wings with some buffalo sauce for her son and 
in 1977, the, the then mayor, um, Stan, made it a day where to celebrate wave in Buffalo because, of course, it was created there, so they want to celebrate their thing, you know, man. So that's all the thing started. So she just get some hot sauce and she just get some um, butter, toss her wings in it, boom, she gave her son it, and it became a thing at her restaurant. It started selling, and then in 1977, the mayor just said, Yo, we're gonna declare July 29 as National Wing Day. So that's how we all, you know, you know. No, I'm not left handed, I use right hand, look. But it looked like that on the camera. This is my left hand. All hands matter. Let's check on our waffle. It's getting there, it's getting there. Need some more time and color. You see what's happening here, guys? Yeah man, so this has some ghost pepper um, sauce in it with the honey and the scallion so we don't need anything else. It's honestly it's hot, it's sweet, you get a nice little flavor from the scallion. And we also made our raspberry mint lemonade earlier with some Bacardi rum, some raspberry lemonade, mother some mint and raspberry, the spoon of sugar and that's it. So Connie Larson, what are you cooking? We're making some coconut jerk marinated wings with some festival waffles. Ready to eat now? Alright, that's all the waffle ready. No waffle show up on thing. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Waffle ready. Alright. Put our waffle there. We can plate this two ways. Just finish this over here, and the recipe I posted, you know, will give you like one and a half waffles. So you can always double the recipe. All right, so we can do this two ways. You can put all the wings on top. You can put all the waffle aside, cut it nice. I have to put them on top, you know. your wings nice temperature nice you know not too fast so they slowly cook they get a nice little crust you know these are finger looking good Ooh, see because we added um the coconut powder to the floor right so you don't want to go too fast because we start to get too you know too brown and then you have to say, bun up. We're not making no burnt offering. Learn you some of that. No, 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 Connie, yeah? It's some curry gravy. All right, so we are ready. We are good to go. Chicken ready. And remember, it's best if you marinate your meat overnight or for a couple hours, you know, more flavor, right? So put these on paper towel. YouTube budget, we have no paper towel this week. Hopefully things change next week, we will have paper towel. You are a vegetarian, but hey, looks good, thank you. I'm gonna just drop our wings on it, you know. Nothing fancy. Just like, this is the part now where you just, you know, you just drizzle on your, your onion, your thingy. Just drizzle on that on top. And that's it. So your skeleton now becomes garnish, you see? So your skeleton now becomes garnish and you have a little sauce now to dip with your um, festival waffle. And this is all we got this week. And it's National Wing Day, it's Wings Day. So make sure you get some wings today or by the weekend to celebrate. All right, so this is all we got for this week along with our cocktail for those of you just joining.
So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. So next week again. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.